Hey, what's up, and folks? This time I bring you another cool and powerful early DLC build, the Black Paladin. This is a strength faith build that it can be really versatile with great power and poise damage, awesome new weapon ability, great defense and guard counter machine, offensive incantations, and the best of all is that you can get it early in the DLC and the drip, oh my god, it details, man. You won't regret playing with this one. So let's jump to how this build works and everything you need. Game on! The way this build works is taking advantage of guard counters and critical strikes with the addition of the weapon's ability that will do holy damage every time you counter. And with each critical strike and the effective use of the Ash of War, you can heal up consistently without the use of flasks. When you start playing the DLC, you probably encounter this Black Knight type of enemies already. You can wear everything they have and more. Let's start with the new weapon, the Black Steel Great Hammer. It's a guaranteed drop when you defeat the Black Knight at the Church of Consolation. To get there, just start from the Grave Sight side of Grace and follow the road west. Get off the road! No, no, no. Stay on the road until you get to the Church of Consolation. This weapon has a very cool ability and extra feature. It says on the description that further holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. That means that when imbued with a sacred affinity will increase the damage of this ability, which happens when you do a guard counter, creating a burst of holy power in the ground that does additional holy damage after you hit with the guard counter. And it's really powerful and can break enemy stances. You can see the difference in the guard counter power using the weapon with and without a sacred affinity imbuement. But I've read over the interwebs that giving the weapon a heavy or flaming art affinity will increase the innate weapon attack power. But the purpose of this video, I'll keep the increased damage of the guard counter with the sacred affinity. The Ash of War that I decided to go with is Prayerful Strike because it can heal you for 30% of your max HP when you hit the enemy. And since the DLC can be challenging, you can use this as a war on easier enemies to heal up a ton without using flasks. Next is the Black Steel Great Shield, that it can be found defeating Black Knight Garou, or I don't know how to pronounce it, Garou, Garou, in the Fog Rift Fort. When you enter, scatter Altus area. To get to the Fog Rift Fort, I mean, who came up with those names? Start from the high road cross side of Grace and ride to this side west and follow this path. The shield has 100 physical damage negation that works great to do the guard counters and the main purpose is to match the look of the Black Knights. If you like this build so far, please hit that like button and subscribe. That will help the channel a lot to grow and will drive me to make more builds for you guys. So thank you a ton. The armor of this build is the complete Black Knight set comprised of helm, armor, gauntlets and greaves. I can't tell you enough that the details of this armor are beautiful with all of the golden markings. To get it, you gotta do a little bit of farming, defeating Black Knights all around the Lands of Shadow. The best spot, in my opinion, was the Castle Ensis checkpoint side of Grace that has a Black Knight right next to it. Be sure to use the Silver Tear Mask and Silver Scarab Talisman to increase your chances of discovery. With this set, you get to 60 poise, so you don't need to worry about it. The talismans I'm using are the Curb Sword Talisman that will increase the guard counter damage by 20%, the Great Jar's Arsenal to increase maximum equip load by 19% and get to the medium load with this armor. Next is Assassin Crimson Dagger to restore 10% of your HP when you do a critical strike. And the last one is the Crusade Insignia. This new talisman will increase attack power by 15% for 20 seconds after defeating an enemy. It's pretty good when playing in a dungeon or a zone with, you know, a large quantity of enemies to keep that buff up at all times. It can be found when defeating Fire Knight Quilling, Quilling, I don't know, the invader in Bellarat Tower Settlement. After the small private altar site of Grace, uh, you go out of there on the path on the right.
Now, you want to change this talisman in boss fights because uh, it's useless because you don't get any other enemies. Uh, so you might want to change it for a Blade of Mercy uh, or a Turtle Talisman or any defensive talisman if the boss fight needs it. For the Physique Flask, I'm running with the new Deflecting Heart tier. This is a new DLC tier that will increase the heavy attack damage as well as poise damage you do when doing a guard counter after a successful deflect. When you execute a spontaneous guard or that block when you're about to get hit, a visual flash indicator and a sound cue will happen. It lasts 5 minutes and it drops when you kill the first Furnace Golem in the main road, passing the Scorched Ruins. Don't be afraid of this enemy, it looks like you're not doing any damage, but once you learn his attacks and know that you can jump after each stomp to evade the fire, you're golden. But don't get caught by his sweep grab, stay always under him. And second is the Holy Shrouding Crack tier that will increase by 20% your holy attacks by 3 minutes. For incantations, I'm running with Golden Vow to get that 15% increase in damage, plus the 10% all damage negation, and it lasts 80 seconds. My always faithful Flame Cleanse Me to remove Poison Buildup, and the new Golden Arcs. In case I want to hit enemies from a mid to long range distance, this incantation will create 3 Holy Arcs in succession. It can be found in Morth Ruins in Skadu Altus. Strength and Faith are the main stats of this build. The class that I used was a wretch, but you can use a confessor or a prophet with a good amount of faith and strength to start with. Now my level 150 character has the stats as follows. Bigger at 55 because the DLC enemies are tough and you need a good base health. Mine at 15, uh, this will result in a good amount of FP points if you plan to use the incantation. Endurance at 35 to get a good stamina pool and enough equip load to get to medium load. Strength at 35 since the Black Steel Great Hammer and max level scales D with strength and we don't need that much points invested. Dexterity at 11 just to cover the requirements of the Black Steel Great Hammer. No points in intelligence. Faith at 58, this is your main stat, so I use the remaining points here because the Black Steel Great Hammer and Max scale C with it and to scale holy damage. So that's the build guys, that's how you can set up a Black Paladin early in the DLC to have an easier playtime, guard counter and everything while looking badass. If you run this build with other modifications or new items to improve it, please share it down below in the comments, I would love to check them out. And please like this video so you can help the channel out and subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you want to see more of my Elden Ring builds in the DLC. So keep enjoying Shadow of the Earth Tree like I'm doing and I hope that you're having a great time. So take care, be safe and see you on the next one. Ciao!